the satellite will transmit two different types of information. One type is beacon, where we, the satellite is reporting its uh, working conditions, battery and so on and so on. Uh, so these are short messages. And when the satellite is uh, in uh, scientific uh, mode, when he's doing his observation, then it will have to download to the ground the observation results. And uh, the idea is that in this case, the messages will be much longer. The satellite is using amateur bands uh, for transmission. So typically, uh, the, the uplink will be in the 2 meters band and the downlink will be in the UHF band, which is uh, 430 to 440 megahertz. As the satellite is flying over a, a long list of different countries, if we can have uh, at least one person in each country that is running the software we provide, uh, then we will have real-time information from all over the world so that the PIXAT team is able to aggregate this information from different points. Otherwise, the team will have to wait for the satellite to come over here once a day or two, twice a day. We use simple systems and we use a very easy, low bitrate uh, uh, information uh, transmission system so that it can be received and decoded efficiently with simple equipment. Anybody home, at least having a computer and some, and some uh, antenna outside, can contribute by being a ground station. And the satellite, uh, when it's not working in this beacon mode or in its scientific mode, is able to use its equipment as an audio transponder. So any licensed amateur that can point his antenna to the satellite can use the satellite as a transponder. Say that the satellite is over France, for example, uh, someone from uh, North Africa can, can talk with someone which is, uh, who is in the, in the north of Europe uh, using limited power through the satellite. And this would not be possible otherwise.